Welcome to our tutorial about digital clipping. In this tutorial, we're going to learn what digital clipping is and we're going to talk about how to prevent it in your work. Basically, you want your input to be as loud or hot as possible without clipping. So what exactly is digital clipping and why is it so nasty and irreparable? A digital recorder records up to 0 dBFS, that's 0 decibels full scale. 0 dBFS means that all the bits are used, whether you've selected 16-bit or 24-bit depth. Basically, 0 dB is the loudest value that your computer can record. Your computer can't record anything louder than this. Digital audio can't express a digital number above 0 dB. That means if you try to record a signal whose amplitude goes above this maximum value, there's no way to express that loud of a signal. Your audio interface will do the best it can, though, and it reproduces a string of zero decibel values, which end up looking like this flat top here that I've marked with the red arrow. The resulting sound is a buzz or distortion, and usually it's unusable, unbearable. So, when you go above zero decibels on your meters, you're entering the zone of digital clipping, and there usually isn't any way to fix this later. Now, there are some exceptions. For example, if the clip is, you know, five samples or less, you can usually modify it manually. You just zoom in real close on your audio software and then change the shape of the wave manually. Also, sometimes clipping on the input's okay. You just need to have a listen to see what's happened to make sure there's no distortion on the output. Now, clipping on your master output meter usually indicates trouble. When you're setting your levels, make sure that the meters on your software's input aren't going into the red, which is usually an indication of clipping. If they are, then turn down your source device until they're no longer going into the red. Make sure you check your meters at the loudest point. Since audio interfaces vary, do a test record and have a listen also. One manufacturer may allow signals, especially peak signals or transients, to go into the red without introducing distortion while another might clip when the signals barely hit the overload indicators. Generally, you don't want your levels to be so hot that you don't have any headroom to make adjustments later, like with volume maximizing or EQ that might drive up the levels of certain frequencies in the recording. You've got to leave a little space for these important adjustments later on. One thing not to do when you clip is to turn down the output in the software or on your output device so that you don't hear it. This is only going to give you softer clipping because the source of the clipping problem is on the input. Conversely, be careful not to record too soft a signal in fear of clipping. If the signal is too low, then you'll get a less accurate representation of the audio in digital form. Your sound will be grainy, thinner. That's an inevitable part of the digitizing process whereby the audio signal gets converted into numbers. If your input's soft, the sound is represented by fewer zeros and ones than if it's louder. The quantization error will result in a much more inaccurate representation of your sound. Louder levels are represented by bigger numbers, so the resulting sound will be more full, more accurate, more detailed. Thus, it's important to set your levels carefully before you get started. Listen, listen, listen. Your output, despite the amazing plugins that most digital audio workstations lay at your fingertips, can only be as good as your input. And this concludes our tutorial about digital clipping.